Redesigning an icon is tough. Volkswagen really had their work cut out for them with the latest version of one of the most iconic cars of all time, the Volkswagen Beetle. This time around, the Beetle is less rounded, less cute. It's trying to be somewhat more macho to appeal to more buyers. Still, there's some neat retro styling cues here, like these classic hubcaps. There are some practical advantages to this repackaged Beetle. Gone is the last Beetle's deep dashboard. That saves space. Adults can also fit in the back seat. It's not all that comfortable, but they do fit. Up front, there are big panels of shiny body color plastic, brightening up the interior of our red test car. Controls are mostly really simple. The basic radio is mounted up high on the dashboard. It's one of the easiest to use in the business. The front seats are fairly flat and wide. Most found them to be pretty supportive. But there are some common Volkswagen driving position quirks here. Your right leg often sits right up against the big center dashboard stack. And the clutch pedal has really long travel, forcing you to sit up close in order to fully floor it. Driver visibility is impacted by the Beetle styling. Most of the roof pillars are pretty thick. In order to be able to see traffic lights, you need to peer up underneath a low windshield header. Also, the back view, a lot of it is blocked by large rear head restraints. Our Beetle has the base 2.5-liter 5-cylinder engine. This isn't the most refined engine, but it does have welcome low-end torque. Our car also has the standard 5-speed manual transmission. It's easy to shift. Acceleration and fuel economy numbers are decent, but they're really nothing special. If you want more power, you can get a 2.0-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder. And if you want better fuel economy, you'll be able to get a TDI diesel Beetle. Like the redesigned Jetta, the Beetle doesn't exactly live up to the standards of Volkswagen's sporty reputation. There's reasonable steering response here, but it's also somewhat slow and a bit short on feedback. All in all, the car feels kind of soggy to drive. At least the Beetle rides well, especially for a small sporty coupe. The ride is absorbent and compliant. Noise levels are generally tolerable, but there's quite a bit of wind noise that comes in, especially over the roof. As far as styling statements go, the Beetle's a reasonably practical package, but if you're looking for something that's especially sporty to drive or gets particularly good fuel economy, you'll have to look elsewhere. 